know by now that my name is nitish narang i am the founder of a platform called stockmog.in it's a back testing platform and uh, a little bit background about myself as i have been introduced that i have been into the tech industry for around 10 years now which means i am doing coding since last 10 years i have done coding in various programming languages but there is a special love for javascript from me so i love doing and i love doing uh, <coughs> programming in javascript okay uh, as far as trading is considered i have been doing trading for last couple of years majorly in bank nifty nifty and currencies okay now uh, as a coder i'll be very honest that there is an edge that we have that if any ideas strike us because we know coding we tend to build the product out out of it and that's what is within me as well okay and stock mock is one such product that i have built because i found the need of having a time based back testing platform okay so first of all for all those who don't know about stock mock a little bit background about it is stock mock is india's first time based back testing platform where you go develop your strategies and back test in less than 30 seconds okay that's that's great okay now uh, one more interesting story stock mock has is uh, it has a little background attached to it that uh, i and my friend neeraj actually got scammed in late 2018 and early 2019 when uh, we met some guys who were very professional and uh, who have lots of knowledge about futures and options and they shared with us a strategy which was 5 6 lakh strategy and we thought since it's very very complicated it must be very good but we were trapped into it and we lost all our money so uh, with that thing we realized that uh, we should without just not taking anything at the face value for any strategy be it complex or be it simple we should always judge a strategy backed by the data okay so that was a eye opening or eureka moment for us that uh, a person who is having a good knowledge of futures and options but with a bad intention is actually a disaster for everyone so that was the time we decided that uh, uh, either we will from here focus on those strategies which strategies which is backed by the data and by data i only mean that if that strategy has performed historically well or not okay and uh, secondly we thought and there come the search part for us that we were doing a search that uh, if we could find a platform back then that if i enter a specific time let's say i want to short a straddle at 9:30 and i want to do intraday what can happen if i exit at 3:10 okay so back then i was not able to find any such platform and therefore we launched this platform in november 2019 and uh, my, our intention was very simple when we launched this platform that we would want to help traders become independent and profitable at the same time through the back testing and i'll prove it to you how we are doing it and what are the steps we have taken to do it okay so uh, i think uh, i briefly explained you about a scam story if you get the time in this session i'll explain you in detail what happened to us but i think this is the blessing in disguise that has happened that we were scammed and we wanted then if we are scammed we don't want other persons to be scammed like us okay and since november 2019 we have been uh, very lucky that we got enormously good response on the platform people have loved this platform and uh, they have also become profitable as well we have many good testimonials on our platform so and also we have around 40000 users signed up with us as of now so i think let me share my screen uh, first of all without, uh, before sharing i'll tell you the agenda for today's session uh, agenda will be something like this since we want to focus on algo trading part what i will do is i will focus firstly on finding the good strategies and by good strategies i mean the strategies that is backed by a good data that i will demonstrate to you through the platform that how can we see if that strategy is good enough to trade first of all obviously nothing is guaranteed in the trading world okay that you are 
always 100% guaranteed a good strategy but but it's very clear that we can find something that helps us through the data okay so once we will find the good strategies through the platform then i will share the strategy that i'm trading for last couple of months okay and then we will move on to my algo trading setup because i think you guys also might be thinking that if i am running a platform stock mock and we have to do continuous updates on the platform and i'm doing i'm very busy in other things adding new features fixing bugs talking to customers for the queries then how am i managing as a full time trader how am i managing my trades so i'll also showcase my algo trading setup and i'll also show some code snippets of the algo trading to you guys so that you get the idea of how the things can be done okay but as i have told you i have a special love for javascript so everything that i'll demonstrate to you will be in javascript only okay so uh, i think without further ado and obviously if you have any queries or something is unclear you can ask me now if i have time i'll explain it otherwise you can mail us your queries okay so let me just share my screen let me know when you guys can see the screen okay somebody can please let me know if they can see the screen or not Yes, sir. It's clearly visible. Okay. Thank you. That's great. So, uh, first of all, this is a banner, and our motto, as I've told you already, is very clear. We want to help traders become profitable through back testing. Okay. If somebody has any doubt, they can reach out to us on this email contact at the rich stock mob dot n, and our Twitter handle is at the rich stock mob underscore n. Okay. So, I'll go to our platform first of all. This is stock mob dot n. and uh, for all those who are very new to this i'll tell you once you log in to this platform you will see some famous popular strategies on the left hand side you can click on it as i've told you it's a first time based back testing platform it means you are allowed to pick your entry time for the strategy it means this is the entry time that at 9:30 i want to enter and i want to exit at 2:30 okay and i want to do what i want to do a short straddle obviously you might uh, you would know you would be aware of it that shorting a straddle means selling a put and then selling a call great okay i think so far so good correct and uh, uh, just a brief introduction about stock mock is that uh, you can do intraday strategies you can do positional strategies you can add the filters like stop loss target profit and other things obviously i won't demonstrate to you everything there is an education tab on the top you can click on it we have so many videos explaining stuff you can sign up for free we offer 20 free credits to you wherein uh, you test the platform for free all its features if you love our platform you subscribe otherwise don't that's fine okay but i would recommend you to try this out because what i'm going to explain to you right now okay let's say uh, why i always believe after the scam that has happened to us why i always believe that having a da data back strategy is good because of the experience that i have now in trading uh in trading it's very clear that why people lose in the market it's because of some some of the reasons the very first reason is their temptation to earn more they think stock market is a shortcut to earn the money in like as you say in hindi like ek is din mein paisa double kar lenge right so there is no such thing like that okay so first of all people do not have the real expectations from the market what do they want to really expect they are just looking to double their money in the short period of time without learning that cause a lot of massive impact on their finances right away okay so they came with an intent to earn the money but they gave all to the market right away okay and then they curse the market and futures an option that this is not good idea okay so i i beg to differ the problem is the psychology they don't have a good psychology and the right mindset to trade the second big mistake that they do is over trading okay and by over trading i mean they tend to trade more than they should they tend to take losses more than they should okay third thing which should be the top one actually which is like risk management i believe that if you are doing futures and options trading and uh, you are not aware about your drawdowns you are not aware about your maximum losses then i think you are not going to get good sleep at all okay 
and it's not going to be a smart trading i would call it gambling rather than the smart trading okay so having risk management in picture having a discipline to trade having a set of rules that you are not breaking is at most important to actually earn in the market what i always say to my friends and uh, my trading friends is that my first intention is always to prevent the capital to minimize the losses and to get comfortable with the drawdown okay so if i am comfortable with a maximum drawdown then i think i can play this game pretty well okay so i'll tell you what all this drawdown and max loss stuff is all about uh let's get into one of the strategies that we will back test okay so uh, this is a short straddle which is like atm put sell atm call sell for nifty okay and the time is 9:30 to 2:30 okay now if somebody who is an experienced trader for last let's say 20 years comes to you and say that hey brother why don't you try the strategy trust on me you will earn big amount of money so i would say rather than trusting them directly okay have a question that is it really backed by the data how has it performed historically okay so what we do is let's test this this is 9:30 to 2:30 we are back testing for two years of data intraday that what happens if we trade if we would have traded this strategy for the last two years what would have happened with us okay because somebody would have suggested us okay so as you can see we show the statistics that how generically it has behaved as you can see average day profit is minus 46 rupees it means if you would have traded this strategy for last two years every day would have lost this much amount of money okay though it has a success rate of 61% but you you are losing 46 rupees daily now comes the best part that i always say before looking at the profits please get comfortable with the drawdown if you are comfortable with your worst case scenario which is max drawdown i think you are going to get good in the trading world at least in the long run okay so as you can see this is a max drawdown max drawdown is that from your peak value the amount that you have traded how below it can go so for example you are doing a short straddle one lot i would assume that you are not taking leverage so you have deployed 1.5 lakhs of a capital in this then your drawdown can be 80000 rupees from 1.5 lakhs to 80000 drawdown it means you are left with only 70000 rupees are you okay with this strategy just ask yourself this question first am i okay with the drawdown that if i deploy this capital in this strategy today and i lost 80000 rupees in the process am i really okay the answer is straight away no i can't lose 50% of my capital man it's not it's not right okay so this is what backtesting actually tells you it tells you the data about that particular strategy okay now let's go to the now let's get back to the strategy again and analyze why this strategy is showing such a drawdown first of all we have done shorting of put and shorting of a call okay but we have not tell the we haven't tell the strategy that where do you want to stop okay which is called as stop loss so stop loss is something that must be there if you are a option seller and i would also recommend option buyers as well if you are a option seller if you are not adding a stop loss i think and this is not a rule that you should apply it's a rule that you must apply so having a stop loss in picture will not just prevent your capital it will give you a peace of mind as well okay now let's see this is shorting a straddle without a stop loss that's why we were seeing a drawdown of 80000 rupees okay Uh, let's see what happens if we add a stop loss <laughs> there is a button stop loss and this is per leg stop loss it means what we are saying that if this leg put leg goes into the 20% stop loss then 
cut this leg only. Okay. Now this is like per leg condition. I want to exit the strategy, exit this leg. If the stop loss gets hit, that's what we are saying. Okay. So we have done a minor alteration into this and let's see now what's, what our results can be. As I always say, if I'm analyzing any strategy, I always, first of all, look the drawdown. I will look at the maximum loss. And if I'm comfortable with that, I'll then look into the further details of it. Okay. Now let's go. Yes. As you can see, now my drawdown has come from 80,000 rupees to 18,000 though they look sound similar 80, 18, but the difference is a lot. Okay. So max drawdown is now 18,000 rupees. Okay. That's fine. It's like 1,50,000 I'm deploying. It's around 12% of my drawdown. Then I will look, okay. I'll say, I'll try to minimize it further that okay. Under 10% if I'm able to achieve, then that's awesome. Uh, now, since I'm comfortable with the drawdown, I will look at other parameters now. Okay. I'll say, okay, the max loss of my strategy is 10,000 rupees. It means that any given day, I can lose up to 10,825 rupees. Oh, okay. That's fine. The next parameter I look for is the RR ratio. It's like risk reward ratio. And this is also nearly one is to one. It means that's fine. But since I'm winning more than 60% of our time, it means overall I'll win this game. Okay. Next I'll go. And finally I will go into the, what are the profits that I'm making per day? So it's saying that now I am making a profit of rupees 400 rupees. Okay. Now I say, okay, this strategy now looks a little decent, but what about slippages? What about brokerages? What about other stuffs? Okay. So uh, obviously there is an option to add a slippage, but what I generally do is just for the sake of telling you, uh, I remove per lot <coughs> 100 to 150 rupees that goes into the brokerage taxes and uh, my slippages. So if I remove 150 rupees, this strategy will be like 250 rupees per day. So I'll say, okay, uh, strategy drawdown and losses are fine, but <clears throat> what about uh, let's have more profits in the picture. It's not just about 250 rupees. I want to earn more. Okay. But by the way, uh, does we, do we only show this result? No, we do not. We show <clears throat> data in detail. Okay. So if you scroll down, you will see that we show monthly breakup of the data as well. So <clears throat> I always say that if a back testing platform is showing lots of data to you, it can become a sort of research tool to you as well. Because if you go dig deep into the data, then probably you will figure out some patterns in it. Okay. So as we have seen, there is, it's a statistics, which we get the idea about a strategy, but what if I want to go and see what is the monthly breakup of it? Okay. How, how much have I earned in February and March, 2019 and in other stuff, as you can see this monthly breakup, the red mark means those are the losing months. So I have lost around one, two, three, four, five, six, six times in last two years, because we have a month a nifty data since 15 February, 2019, and we are back testing precisely for two years of data. We are saying that we have lost, I think five, six times in this and uh, other day, other months we have, we were winning. Okay. Now, for example, if a, if trader now says that, no, I don't want to look into the monthly data. I want to also have an idea that what has happened on each day on two years of back testing. Okay. Then what to do in this is that we show that detail as well, which means each day, what has happened with your trade, you can dig deeper into that as well. Okay. That's why I, that's what I like about back testing that we get to see so much of details into it so that we can analyze our re results. We can get and reach to some conclusions on it. Okay. So as we can see on 15th February, what has happened? We have lost 300 rupees. Okay. Nifty gap up gap down means it was a gap up day. It opened up 0.32% of time, 0.32% for the previous day. 
what was the VIX range? VIX started when we entered the strategy. VIX was this. When we exited, VIX was this. Okay. How did your spot move throughout the day? It moved. It was actually similarly sideways. Okay. And then we show each leg details into it. So it's ATM put, ATM call. Okay. We tell you that your when you entered the call, the price was this. When you exited at your exit time, the price was this. You earned seven hundred something rupees into it. Now you can see this put in the red mark. It means the stop loss for this put has happened. And it has happened at 10:14. So you entered your strategy at 9:30. At 10:14, the put stop loss got hit. You remember we have added a stop loss of 20%. So 1.2 is 84.3 rupees. As you can see, at 10:14, I think market was dropping and the price reached 84.3. So we exited this strategy right away. Okay. So this much amount of details, if you get to see in the back testing, then I would strongly recommend then that find out something that in this data that can help you in your trading system, even if not directly. Okay. Now, uh, one day, I think when we launched this platform uh, in November 2018, somebody asked us that, okay, you are showing good amount of details. But what happened throughout the day in a particular day? If I want to see that, then what? It, then, then can you show that? It means we have achieved three hundred rupees of loss in this. But I wanted to see how my strategy behaved throughout the day. What was the PNL in that? Can you please show us? Okay. So we thought it's a pretty good idea, and then we are showing the graph here. You can see the dates being clickable. If we can click the date. Then a chart will pop up that will compare spot price with your net PNL. This black one is your net PNL. So throughout the day, if you can see your PNL was moving something like this, I think around twelve fifteen you were in the profit of two thousand something rupees. But by the end of the day, you made the loss of three hundred. Okay, uh, this is not to say that whenever you see the profits in a strategy, just Take it and go away. Have the rule-based systems. Even if you want to have a rule that at thousand rupees, I want to exit the strategy. Have a rule-based system. Don't be rule-based in starting and then add discretion into it. Okay, is that fine? Does that make sense? And if you want to, for example, add a profit, let's say I want to add a specific profit of two thousand rupees. First of all, back test that strategy. Is it really helping you on some days? And on other days, you might have gained much, much bigger profit than this, or like, is it a better strategy? So have a rule around it, and then perform the strategy. Okay. I hope I have made some things very clear to you that how do I analyze the strategy? Why uh, back testing can help you? Because it's providing you a lot of details in a data, and when you have data by your side, you are actually have high chances that you get further insights into it. Okay, that's fine. Now, uh, obviously, many more things can be done into this. You can go to the education part, education thing, and uh, find out what else can be done. Okay, you can trail your stop loss and other things. Now, I will now come. To the strategy that I trade, but before that, I will tell you that this is a strategy that I was trading for last couple of months. But now, what I've done is I don't do just one strategy in a day. I do couple of strategies, which we call basket of strategies. So this basket was one of a very cool features. If you go into it, I have explained in detail what can be done here. And what cannot be done, and therefore hey, hi everyone. This is you can read back. about it, go to it, go into it in basket in general. You can compare the different strategies and combine them. Okay, so uh, let me showcase to you what I have done recently. Uh, yeah, one of the strategies that I am trading. Okay, it's that ATM call, ATM put. It's a straddle, simple straddle, with 
forty percent stop loss. Well, this is a strategy that I've been trading independently for a couple of months, but I think uh, last October or November, I merged it with other strategies as well. This means it is one of the strategies I trade, but I trade other strategies on different times as well. Okay, so that I have three strategies in a picture in a day that I am trading at different times. And when do I enter? I say I enter at ten. Not say I actually enter at ten forty-five. And I generally exit by three o'clock or three ten. So in this strategy, I exit at three ten. Okay. So this strategy is very clear. This is a Nifty strategy. ATM call, ATM put. Stop loss is forty percent. And entry at ten forty-five. Now, when we say entry at ten forty-five, we precisely means that enter exactly at ten forty-five. Don't delay this thing by one, two, three seconds. But that is not to say that you will not achieve good results. That is just to say that if you want to match your results with the back testing, because we upload the daily data by five thirty p.m. So that if you are doing a stock market strategy, you can come over to the platform, see the results for that day. But uh, what we have seen is some people are manually doing the trade at their at their own convenience, like they are entering probably twenty seconds late, thirty seconds late. But they are achieving good or other better results, but their data somehow do not match. So what we say is, if you are entering at a particular time, um, enter right away with your strategies. And I also agree that manually doing call and put is a little tricky. So that's where algo trading comes into the picture. And I, after this, I'll show you my algo code, and uh, I'll also demonstrate to you one of the strategies. Okay. So this is my strategy. One of the strategies. Disclaimer. Proper disclaimer. I'm not suggesting anyone to do this strategy. I am little comfortable with this results. So you can tweak the numbers and find the strategies that is comfortable to you. Okay. This is very important for being independent. You should find something that's comfortable to you, not something that is recommended by others or specifically by me. Okay, not go about it. So let's see the results of this strategy. Okay, <clears throat> it's straddled with forty percent stop loss, ten forty five entry, and uh, three ten is the result. So you can see the results generally come within eight ten seconds. So the average day profit is around seven hundred rupees. By the way, I don't look at it first. I look at this first. So MDD is drawdown is ten thousand rupees. That's what I like about it. So any drawdown which is less than eight uh, percent and ten percent, I generally prefer that strategy. So the drawdown is ten thousand rupees. If I am deploying one point five lakhs of my capital with one lot of straddle, it's it's going it's very good for me. Okay, and then I see RR ratio is one is to one. That's okay. Max loss at any given day was six thousand rupees, and uh, 700 rupees near to 700 rupees is my day profit i'll remove 150 rupees from it for commission and brokerages win percentage you see it's very good it's over 70% okay so and if you go down to the monthly breakup you will see that it has this two uh, bad months which is like 1700 rupees loss here and 2400 rupees loss here other were the green months or you ended with no profit and no loss okay Just like this in October, you might have given this into brokerages and stuff, but you didn't go into losses. So the point here is that if we have a psychology, that if we have rules in picture and we are disciplined about it, then in long run, it will definitely help us. Okay, if it is backed by the data, historical data. So this is a strategy I used to trade, but uh, since I knew that. today i will uh, i won't be able to explain to you this thing by 10:45 so i have today uh, entered this strategy at 11:15 so that by 11:15 the 10 minutes i think 10 minutes are left to 11:15 i'll go to the algo part of what i have designed how i managed my trades there and at 11:15 i'll also showcase to you directly that how the trades go into the market so i think if this thing is very clear to you or not uh, I, i don't know so is sl on tick basis on minute bar completion so one of the questions is okay so first of all it is a uh, 1 minute ohlc data but stop loss we check various conditions based upon highs and lows so this result matches close to your real trades result okay so it's more than 99.9% of the times that your data will definitely match with it okay 
tick by tick and this ohn says one of the similar things if you are matching the stop loss condition okay so i go to the uh, elgo part of it let me show you the code code base that i have thank you so much oh pretty clear wow amazing okay can you let us know where do you fetch the data from so it's a uh, official we are getting the commercial data from nc uh, resellers and uh, we have cleaned it and we have set up with the nc vendors they have cleaned the data and uh, it's pretty amazing you can try it out for free since it's free you can daily come to the strategy validate yourself and get the good idea about it okay so let me just showcase my uh, let me showcase my this thing can you guys see the screen yes obviously can anyone tell me yes okay so uh, what i'll do is uh, what i'll do is that uh, this is one of the code snippets that i'm showing to you obviously i've clubbed all of the code here this is not the good way of writing a code generally your code has to be modular enough so that every file is doing a particular task and not everything is clubbed into it but just to demonstrate to you guys i have put everything together and what i'll do is in this thing i will i have taken how i elgo trade uh, how i elgo trade my strategies on on upstocks right now i know upstocks is stock providing uh, apis but if you contact some of the aps from upstocks i'm also an ap but uh, they can provide you the apis but right now i think nowadays upstocks is not having uh, some issues with the intraday that they exit at 3 o'clock or even before that they are facing some issues i don't know how long they will continue with that but uh, i'll demonstrate how we can algo trade through upstocks and some code, code snippets okay so first of all if you want to trade on upstocks there is an npm module in it since i want to, i will demonstrate to you the javascript code so this upstocks is uh, npm module Elgo platform well data feeds and other infra. So uh, there is a question by Nitin that please brief about the Elgo platform. Yes, I'll brief about it. Elgo platform. This is something that I've designed for myself for my trading. We do not offer offer directly uh, Elgo trading of stock market strategy. There is a platform called Quantify who does that. Now what I am showing to you is how I Elgo traded and how I have coded for myself into this. So uh, for up stocks. there is a module called upstocks here you have to download it you have to use this npm module upstocks here and uh, what we do is uh, i'll i'll brief you about it here firstly so what generally all the brokers does is and specifically upstocks is it they share their npm they share their module based upon the specific languages okay by specific languages i mean if you are doing python they have a module for that if you have Node.js. They have a module for that. Since I'm doing in JavaScript, which is Node.js, I will use the Node.js module. Okay. So what generally happens is I'll tell you the infrastructure about it. Whenever they share their module with you, they are expect they are they are, they have this documentation where they are clearly explaining. The step one is always to get the token. I'll not show you that process because that's very simple. If you go to their documentation, you know the steps to follow. That how to get your token. Generally, token is valid for a day. So for every day in the morning, you need to fetch that token. Okay. So once you get that token, you can use that token for your future API calls. Okay. Now, what should be the process? How do we trade? Uh, we are assuming that we are using the same strategy. Let's say straddle at ten forty-five. Okay. And exiting with forty percent stop loss and exited at three ten. What should we do? What should we do now? Okay, just a second. Uh, okay, uh, so what we what do we need to know? Since we are doing ATN straddle, so we need to first of all know that at ten forty five, what is the ATM price of it? And to get the ATM price based upon the spot. you should you should know about the spot prices first okay so our intention firstly is to get the indexes prices like first of all we would ask upstocks to share with us the bank nifty or nifty spot prices okay that's clear once we get that prices continuously that what is the price right now what is the price right now and then when our entry time comes in that let's say we want to enter at 10:45 or 11 or 11:15 we would then calculate at that particular time 
what is the spot price and then we will calculate the ATM price based upon that. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm calculating ATM based upon spot. Some people prefer future. I'm doing it on spot. Okay, so we will fetch bank nifty and nifty spot prices at our entry time. We will fetch the ATM based upon that spot prices. We will create an instrument. And we will push that into uh, we'll place the order in upstocks. Okay. So uh, without further ado, let me just showcase to you right away. So the first thing that I want is I want to first of all, just a second. <laughs> Yeah. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to this concept of upstocks is that if you want to get the data from us, upstocks says that tell us the symbol you want to get the data because there are so many symbols already there. They would want us to tell them that tell us what symbol you want uh, us to get the data from. Okay. So what we say is, okay, there is a, there is a, API that is exposed, the method that is exposed is in the same upstocks module called subscribe feed, which tells us that if we subscribe to some of the indexes, they will start giving us the data about that. Okay. So, um, what we, what we have done is, okay. We said that we have maintained a configuration variable. I'll go to that as well. Mm -hmm. It takes time when you are showing the code base. Okay. So we are saying that, so, uh, index symbol for 50 is nifty bank and for nifty 50 is it's nifty 50. Okay. So this is a configuration that we have, uh, saved in a variable and we will tell up stocks that for these two symbols, we want to subscribe. It simply means we want you to tell us all the details for all the tick data for these two symbols. Okay. So because we want to, first of all, get, get and fetch the spot prices. Okay. Now let's do by the way at 1115, what I will do is it's 1113. Now one minute later, I will open my telegram bot. Okay. And uh, something will happen in the telegram bot that I'll explain you with this session in the next 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, but 1115, I've deployed one strategy just to demonstrate to you what happens there. So let's go into this uh, subscribe, subscribe index. Yeah. So what happens here is subscribe symbols. Yeah. Subscribe index future symbols. We are fetching the bank nifty index symbols. We have fetched nifty index symbol and we are telling up stocks that we want to subscribe to these symbols. This is the way for us to tell that which data do we want to subscribe so that you keep giving us that data. Correct. So uh, we have done that. Let's go to first of all, telegram bot. Okay. This is a telegram bot and uh, you see at exactly 11 15, something happened. Your first strategy orders are pushed to the market. And I'll also showcase to you uh, in up stocks, as you can see at 11 15, precisely since we were talking, at 11.15 right now, my two orders went with this straddle, 11, 15, 1300 put, 15,300 call. And uh, I have also added SLM orders into it. I will now tell you all about it. Okay, let the strategy be running. I'll also walk you through the code base for this. Okay. I thought I would be able to wrap up by 11.15 so that you see why this happened exactly at this time, but that's okay. Okay. So firstly, what we did is we told up stocks, we want to subscribe to bank nifty and nifty. Okay. And let's say it started giving us data. Now, how do we fetch all the data that it gives? Okay. It's through web sockets. So what we do is, uh, uh, what's the way of doing is as soon as we subscribe to it, there is a way, there is a way to fetch the data through web sockets. And this is the way. If you write this upstock sort in live feed, it means whatever symbols that you have subscribed, you will keep on getting the data from that. Keep on getting the data from that. Continuously keep on getting the data from that. Okay. And thereafter, what we do is this is something that I'll explain you later. 
these are some use cases that I always manage. What if life feed stops? How do you notify yourself? What if life feed is not working? What if life feed was not working, but it's now working now, but it started to work. I should inform myself. So first of all, uh, a little bit about notify user is so that you get the idea because you will see this thing a lot many places. Notify user is a simple method that I've created for me to alert if something went wrong or for me to notify if something has happened for my strategy. Okay. That's, that's one thing. So, uh, in notify user, there can be many ways for you to get not notified. Let's say you want to send a message to yourself. You can do that. You want to drop a mail to yourself. You can do that, but generally it's not a good idea to continuously pinging you in a messages and mails. Telegram is one of those ways telegram bot that I found being a tech is so handy to use. And it's so easy to make that I've made a bot for more or less every task of mine, specifically this thing. After making a telegram bot for this, I'm so happy that I, I now don't need to monitor so many things. If even if I'm driving my car, I'll open a telegram bot. I'll see the updates what's going on. So this, whenever you see notify user, it means I'm telling myself on through telegram bot that this thing is up. Okay. So as you can see, Live feed means you are continuously getting the updates from spot. Obviously we do not want at any given point in time that for continuously 10 seconds, we don't get an update. Correct. So what we do is I tell that, okay, live feed went down. If the live feed went down, if, if I don't get the data for 10 seconds, I'll update myself. Live feed went down. If it came again, I will tell it, okay, live feed is up again. Now, this is a specific thing for myself. If you're a full-time trader, you're continuously monitoring the screen. It's up to you. Okay. For me, sometimes I'm busy with other stuff, stock market updates on call, driving and other things. I wanted this for myself. Okay. So this is the infrastructure for my Elgo trading. So let's go. Now what to do if you get the spot prices. So this I've created a tick data feed handler method here. Okay. I'll tell that, okay, whatever data you are giving, whatever the data of stocks is giving, I'll filter it. I'll filter NSA index from it. NSA index means this is an index data. Uh, index means bank nifty and nifty spot price. As soon as I get that price, I save it in my variable configuration, which means that this configuration variable is always updated with the latest spot price. Okay. So what I've done till now is I'm fetching the, I'm fetching continuously the data from up stocks. I'm storing it in a variable so that when I want to initiate a trade, I can directly refer to this variable. Okay. I think this should be very clear by now. If not, then obviously reach out to me later. So as soon as you uh, save this data, your price process is completed that I'm now, I'm now uh, fine with this. Now what happens is your time has uh, arrived that Let's say uh, what I have entered is 11.15, right? So 11.15 time has arrived. And now what you want to do is you want to initiate your trade. So you will call this method. So there are various ways you can uh, trigger this thing that 11.15 has happened. There are various like Chrome jobs you can use that, okay, this time has arrived, now initiate the trade. So let's say our initiate trade order has this function is executed. Now, what do we want to do right now? Okay. Let's say you have a, you want to execute a straddle. Okay. So for straddle, now what you have is a spot price for Nifty and spot price for Bank Nifty. Okay. Now you can't do anything with a spot price. Okay. You have to ultimately calculate the ATM based upon that spot price. So the first thing that we do is we will find the spot price and we will convert the ATM into it. What is the ATM for that spot price? I hope you all are aware of what is at the money thing. Okay. Let's say just for those, just to revise, recap this thing. Let's say my uh, spot price for Nifty is at 14,030. So the ATM would be what? 14,050. So anything more than 25, we will consider the next value. Anything less than 25, uh, we'll consider the previous value. So 14,020, the ATM would be 14,000. For more than 14,025, it will be 14,050. Okay. I think this thing is clear. So here we have created a simple method for, uh, get nifty ATM strike. And so if you guys really want to see how this works, I can also demonstrate to you that as well. 
Okay, I hope I'm not boring you guys enough. Okay, and adding some value. Okay, so uh, and by the way, if you guys are not able to see the screen, just let me know. Ping me right away. So this is the ATM Nifty Strike method that we have created. What we are seeing in this method is function is pass a number to me. I will check that the, if the modulus is more than 25, I will consider the immediate next 50th multiple. Otherwise, I'll consider the previous 50th multiple. For those who are not aware of JavaScript, this floor and ceiling method is very helpful. It can help you done that. I will demonstrate it to you as well. So let's say if you are doing get nifty ATM strike, and as I've told you, 14,030, if you pass, what should be the ATM? 14,050. As you can see here, 14,050 is the answer. What if I want to do 14,020? It will tell me the ATM strike is 14,000 rupees. If I want to do 25, it will still be 1,000 because we have said if it is more than 25, only then go to the next number. Okay, things are clear. What if I do 26? It will pick up the next price. Same goes with 75 and other things. If it's 70, it will consider the previous multiple of 50. And if it's more than 75, it will consider the next multiple of that. So that's how, first of all, our first job is from spot price, we will calculate an ATM. What's the ATM number? What's the strike price I want to trade with? You can't trade with the spot price, right? And uh, same goes with a bank nifty ATM strike. For nifty ATM strike, for nifty ATM strike, it's a multiple of 50 and 25. And uh, for bank nifty, the strike price is difference is 100. So you can do with 100. It's more or less a similar code here. Okay. So let's go to it. When you want to initiate the order, first thing you want to do is fetch the spot price, find the ATM for that spot price so that you find the strike you want to trade with, and then create an instrument. I'll not walk you through, I'll not bore you with all these things, but you have to create an instrument symbol based upon that. That what's your symbol? What's your ATM strike price? Like you see, this is nothing but this nifty 21. What's your ATM strike? Like you found the ATM strike to be 14,050. And what's your call put? Call put means is it C or is it P? So this is how you create your instrument symbol. Okay. So once you have created an instrument symbol, what we do is we store with us in a variable that these are the things I want to store. This is a new order. So we will store it at one place in our variable. So what we say is this is a new order. So order is not yet confirmed. We'll say it's false. Order position is open, is position open. We will add conditions to it that stop loss is this thing, target is this thing, quantity is this thing, transaction type is to like call, sell, whatever. And then what we do is we notify ourselves. As I've already explained to you, notification means I'm just updating myself that your orders are pushed at your market, pushed to market at your entry time. You will get details soon. Now, just remember this line because I'm going to show you in the telegram in a few minutes that this is the message that I got before my orders are punched into the upstocks broker. Now, right now what we have done is we have saved the details with us, but we have not yet told the upstocks that please initiate our orders. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to call the method place upstocks order for whatever uh, this upstocks is provided to us. So place upstocks order is nothing. I have some use cases because we want to place the upstocks order at exit time at entry time. If we are force exiting and other stuff. So, okay. I'll, I'll demonstrate that as well. So right now we are talking that entry time. If we have entered, we want to place an order in upstocks. How do we do that? So it was an entry time condition. What we do is upstocks has this plain and simple uh, method upstocks dot place order. Okay. So if you call this method, you need to send some arguments to it. That transaction type is, is it I sell since you're doing futures options, you have to sell it's new and this future option symbol is what we have created nifty 21, 14,050 call put. Okay. Quantity is how much quantity do I want to trade? Is it 10 lots? For example, then it's 750 as a quantity and order type is market because at entry time, we are not saying we are using a limit order. We just saw the entry and we entered at the market price. And what we do is product type is intraday. We are doing an intraday trading. Okay. So as soon as you do, do this, 
your orders are placed in upstocks okay i think and i hope i let me just open the chat box and see i hope this thing is clear till now somebody asked how can we back to siren condor there is an option in the stock mark on the left side popular strategies we can click iron condor you can do that okay so let's talk just about algorithms for now not stock mark basically um thank you for saying clear now uh, one thing i want to stop here a little bit and want to tell you something uh what i believe is whenever you are entering into any any strategy specifically short okay uh don't assume some things that you will continuously observe the market and when you want to exit you will exit at that i know you are very smart i know you have good numbers of experience in trading but what i have seen is please enter your stop loss orders directly into the broker's account first that's the first thing you should do as soon as you have entered your orders your stop loss order should go <clears throat> right away because slm orders stay with nsc so that even if some glitches happen with your code or with broker like for example upstocks went down for many hours uh, like it was a bad day for upstocks some some time back then i have i was having an slm orders on upstocks and when i saw the results at the end of the day i was saved just because of upstocks just because of the slm orders so that's my uh, humble request that have the stop loss orders in picture first and that's what i say is whenever i am putting any orders into the market my slm orders go right away i don't wait for the second moment i just go right away as that's why you have seen if i'll show you the let me close it uh, i'll show you this upstock thing my 151300 call as you can see and 151300 put as you can see entered at 1115 but immediately my slm orders which says trigger pending trigger pending that also went with it okay now if i have anything else into the picture that i want to exit at 1000 rupees that's a different story but have slm orders in picture some people prefer sll like put any kind of stop loss orders have this thing in picture you never know what's going to break it's all about technology brokers are running on technology algorithms is running on a technology any time in your career if you face this technology issue you're going to get screwed definitely okay so have a prevention order but that's not to say slm is obviously very safe that's not to say that because sometimes slm orders are also jumped if you don't know about it please read about it i think uh, um you will find good articles nitin kamath sir has already explained about it many times uh, that slm orders can be jumped and uh, there is no way actually to prevent it something like that yes somebody asked can we trail our stop loss yes you can definitely trail your stop loss there is an option to back test that as well on stock mark but right now what i am discussing is simple stop loss order that you simply add a stop loss and then uh, either your stop loss gets set or you exit at your exit time okay you exit your strategy at your exit time i think this thing is clear till now okay so what we have done is first of all we have asked up stocks for the spot prices it has given to us at our entry time we have converted a spot from atm we have created an instrument we have stored that in our variable and we have pushed this thing to the up stocks place up stocks order so right now these two things the code that we have gone through these two things would have already gone to the up stocks okay but right now slm is not gone i have not shown you the code for that so let's go right up huh. <clears throat> i don't have a water here okay nonetheless uh let's say a uh, trade update handler so now what happens is if any of your code is executed or is completed your instrument is completed with the broker side you get an update as well through sockets for that okay and you it's your duty to catch it and so where do you get it you get it on trade update so as soon as we push the orders to the up stocks then we have fetched the details we can catch that details in trade update okay so as soon as our straddle went we would definitely get a trade update handler okay for both the legs one leg at a time not together obviously so as we see upstock gives us lot many details and this is javascript code if you don't understand it that's okay it's like object this uh, destructions so uh, 
whatever results is coming in the data, we break that. We find the symbol, product, order type, whatever. Since this code is specifically for selling stuff, so what we say is okay, the transaction type is selling. Okay, let's say our let's say we got the trade update of our call selling. Okay, what we do is transaction type is selling, order type was market, and product was intraday. That's fine. It means we have got a selling update that one sell has completed. What we do is since this is the orders where we have saved our entries when we were initiating the order, we will check that we will find that is this selling of something that we have initiated the algo has initiated or this is something uh, like i manually opened an account i was trying to sell something okay so this will figure out from this variable that okay from client order orders we will figure out that this was a open position the symbol was same it means this was triggered by algo and we'll say yes it is an open order for us okay and then what we do is we notify user what 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 do you mean by notify user what do we mean by notify user it's simple i am updating myself in telegram about something something has happened okay somebody asked can we get a programmer to make my personal algo uh, there are so many programmers out there there are so many platforms out there quantify as i've told you it's one of them you can reach out to a panelist who is ready to uh, make your algorithms into it so okay so what we do is as i've told you as soon as i get an update that my algo has generated a sell complete order it's my duty that i'll push slm orders for that right away okay so that's slm orders so what i do is i'll say okay i found this thing what was my order i'll figure out what was the percentage of that let's say because here i have added 40% stop loss so i'll calculate the stop loss price based upon because i'll get the price of when my stop loss got uh, um, what was the price that i executed for the selling trade okay so i'll get the stop loss price for that and then i'll immediately push the slm orders for that okay so let's go to the place of stocks order again since now the order type is slm what i'll do is i'll again do the same thing order type buy sell it's place order the api method is the same it's nsefo it's simple quantity is this it's an slm order make sure the order type is correct if you remember we have earlier sent market order but we are now going to send slm orders okay the type is entry this thing in slm orders if you are not aware we have to tell uh, uh if we are actually telling that trigger price that when we want that slm orders to execute obviously we want to tell it now if uh, if we have shorted at 100 100 rupees and it's 40% stop loss we need to tell that slm order should be uh, 140 140 rupees okay so far so good fine so this is the main thing that i wanted to tell you that as soon as you are executing your trades please send your slm orders as well okay? i know you are perfect in many things but let's trust nsc more than that we do ourselves okay? have a stop loss in picture uh somebody asked me in a chat can you show how you schedule the algos as i have already told you there are various ways of scheduling the algos one of the ways is set time out method okay another way is cron jobs how in this this was a, this is a demo thing so uh, i'll tell you this initiate order how you can do this and i'll explain you as well since somebody has asked me if you are initiating an order because i need 5 more minutes of time to explain you about my telegram bot it's awesome Mm -mm -mm. Ah, yeah, hell. I think set time out is. I don't know where I've done it wrong. Where is initiate order? How is initiate order happening? Yeah, hell. So uh, what I do is, for example, uh, I hope this is for this is for Saurabh Mandlik who has asked how do I initiate my order. It's like this. Okay, whenever my code gets executed, since I know about my entry time, my entry time is when it's at eleven fifteen right now. and let's say when i executed it was 10:30 okay when it, when this code started it was 10:30 what we do is we tell that okay what's my entry time this is the code mm. i'll i'll find out my entry time for when i want to enter okay and i'll find the difference what is the time right now okay so it's very easy concept it's 11:15 i want to enter right now it's 10:30 
So what is the difference? Difference is 45 minutes. So what I'll do is after 45 minutes, set time out is simply after 45 minutes, execute my trade. This is one way of doing it. Another way is doing it through Crohn's. Another way is doing it through bus topologies. That's another little technical out there. There are various ways you can do it. Set timeout is one of the ways I've explained. It's working awesomely for me. So I don't want to change it. That's fine. Is there any latency issues trading via Java? I'm not doing Java. It's JavaScript as compared to server-based algo. Brother, JavaScript can be done in both front end and in back end. That's what I love about it. Okay. So uh, JavaScript, when you do in back end, it's called Node.js. It's as fast. I have built entire system in JavaScript or uh, this stock mock and you will, you, you check the speed of it in four years for, if you want testing the four years of bank nifty data, you will see the results coming in less than 10 seconds for nifty two years. It, you will see less than five seconds. So I don't think there is much latency into it. Obviously there are some programming language languages that do the job much faster, like go programming language. It's computation is a little faster, but I'm finding myself comfortable with the JavaScript. As of now, I'm open to changes with well. that's not a problem, but it's pretty awesome for me. I'm managing some, five, six accounts of me and my friends. And uh, it's going precisely at that time. There is no lag unless there is a lag from the broker side. Okay. Uh, I'll take five, 10 more minutes. I hope it's okay to the moderators. Okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, now I hope I've properly explained to you what's there. Uh, I'll now directly go to the point where, um, since where my exit time has happened. Okay. Now what happens when your exit time has happened? How do you want to cut your trades? Because now you have four trades into picture, two are completed, two are into the pending state. How do you want to exit? Let's say 310 has happened and you want to exit your trade. How do you go about it? Technically it's very simple. Either you remove like click on this and click on this, you cancel your orders. And then you go click on these orders and square off. Okay. Let's say if I do cancel and I do, and I then click on the positions, I square off from here. This is one of the ways, but I find it little uh, time taking. What I do is there is one of the, one, one of the trick here. If you have SLM orders into the picture and you put your trigger price to zero. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, yeah, no, if you convert your SLM to market order. Yeah, this is one of the ways. If you convert your SLM orders into the market orders. So since you have entered the price of zero rupees, what it means that at that, at that particular time, when you have exited, it will execute a market order for all the SLM orders. So when the exit time has happened, our only responsibility is to convert the SLM orders into market orders. Let me show you the code for that. Uh, it's, I'm just painting a little bit. Exit. Open. Where am I writing? Exit open trades. Yeah, it's exit open trades. So uh, what I do is, if I want to exit my open trades, let's say exit open trades can happen in various scenarios. One is the time has happened. Another is force exit. I'll also talk about it. Force exit is something uh, when I'll discuss about Telegram bot that I'm observing Telegram bot. I got a news that Indochina war in Indo China war can happen. Uh, Modi is about to come and any, anything, any event is about to happen. So if I want to exit my strategy right away, rather than going to a broker, I have this feature in telegram bot that I click force exit. It exit my open rates. And right now I'm showing it to you. How does it exit it? It's very simple. I just modify my SLM orders to the market orders. Okay. So we, I open all my open positions. I've saved that in a variable. I've already told you the client orders is a variable where I've shared all my uh, strategies. I will find out all my open strategies there and I will convert. I'll modify my order from SLM to M. So this upstocks.modify order is something that's provided. This is a method provided by upstocks. Obviously the broker that you are using specifically is Zeroda. They have a seamless APIs in the uh, methods there. So uh, you, when you convert your upstocks, order from SLM to M, you have to tell the order ID as well. So it's important that for any trade, whatever corresponding SLM is generated, you should save the SLM order ID. So you are telling the upstocks that for this order ID convert into market order. I'll also demonstrate it to you. Once I do a force exit, how does this happen? Okay. Now I think I have explained with code to you enough 
how do you find the spot price how do you get the adm how do you generate uh, the instrument how do you place the upstocks order when the upstocks order uh, confirmation is received how do you place an slm orders and then how do you force exit uh, your orders what is the what is the way to go about it okay uh, some yeah moderator said you can know the results okay uh, now next uh, uh, okay now now one thing that last thing about this thing i do i have taken a lot of time last thing that i want to tell is about the telegram bot okay this bot has helped me a lot i have made it i think long time back and it's still running it's awesomely fine why i use the bot i've already explained to you that uh, sometimes i'm too busy with to busy with my stock market work sometimes i have a seminar i have webinars and sometimes i'm driving or on a call with somebody uh and uh, and i want to still have a look at what what's my trade what's going on in my trade how to uh how what's happening in my trade okay that's one thing i wanted to know so to observe everything i either have two options one is i create a ui i create a website like i host it somewhere i continuously track it another way is a telegram bot telegram bot is one of the smart ways where you have to do limited functionalities and you don't want to build a ui on it so you can uh, telegram bot is very easy to make the first time i made it i think it took me around 15 minutes or 20 minutes to make that bot and uh, uh, since then i'm like hooked to it okay now let's go to my telegram bot which i've been talking about for so long i don't know why i'm educating it so much but i love this okay so as you can see as i have told you that 1115 when we were initiating the order i i told you now i showed you the code that your strategy orders are pushed to the market at your entry time you will get the details soon you see this initiate order when we were initiating the orders we were saying that your strategy orders are pushed to the market time you will get the details soon this is what i am initiated at exactly 1115 now to tell you uh this is the information that we got from the broker that exactly at 111500 my order was pushed when we were talking orders were pushed i showed you right away it's 15300 put it's for 15300 call and immediately without a delay at 1115 only my slm orders also went since i was doing for demonstration two dots only uh 150 quantity of this is added at 132 rupees this is added at 142 rupees okay if you want to validate that you can obviously go to this thing and you can see this 132 rupees and 142 rupees and uh, what is the price that we have seen here okay now what is the advantage of this telegram bot why do i not need to open my broking uh, terminal if i am very busy in other stuff and i want to moderate my trades you can see some options here in bot you can create the options and uh, you can once you click on it you can write a code that what happens to do it. so the very first thing i have done is get live data it's very simple get live data is something that uh, what is the current state of my orders that's how, that i wanted to know okay so if i click on it get live data you will see something should happen yeah so it says that first f strategy is the first strategy because i generally have three strategies uh f strategy says that i have an open position of this symbol call and put which was entered at this time at th this price and right now the price is 100 rupees and 98 rupees it means 0.6 points i am in profit of call and 0.3.95 i am profit of loss since i am doing two lots this is thing and i am gaining 997 rupees in call and this and it also tells me this is the amount okay i this is a net pnl is 495 rupees if we want to at that particular time we want to uh validate that as well we can do that that's not an issue okay. so let's do that let's say you see 435 happened at that time so in that particular moment it told me that okay you are getting 3.0 Five point nine five point zero. I tell you that my net PNL was this. I also actually have this habit of knowing what was my max profit and loss for the strategy and at what time. So it tells me that okay, eighty two point five was your max profit till now, from the time you have entered the strategy. It was this time. It was this time. What is the current price of a spot? Fifteen thousand eight hundred two. Okay. 
So you get this price, uh, everything. So this this precisely tells me what's what are my open positions. I get the notifications if my any of my stop loss gets triggered. I immediately get a notification. We have written the code for that. Okay. The second thing is get my strategies. Okay. So obviously uh, today is Monday, and I have changed the strategy to demonstrate to you. If I click on it, I get to know what is my strategy for today. So this is eleven fifteen to three o'clock. I'm selling ADM call Nifty at forty percent stop loss, forty percent this. And uh, now let's. I'm showing for one of the account. Now next thing is force exit algo. So I think my time is about to wrap. So the finally I will conclude this thing by force exiting algo. What is this? So let's say I'm driving and I got the news that something is about to happen. I want to close my trades right away. Then what to do? Okay, there's an option force exiting. It's very simple. When you force exit, I've shown you the code that I'll convert my stop loss market orders to the market orders. Okay, so as soon as I click it, my all the positions go into will be exited right now. I don't want to exit. It's a loss. But since my time is about to up, I want to demonstrate to you that. Okay, so let's exit force exit first. We'll go as soon as I exit it, you will see this already executed. The SLM orders were executed. I'm out of the trade by three seventy five rupees, and uh, that's it. So I hope. uh you already got the idea of what we have done specifically i have done on the code and how am i managing if i am busy in other stuffs how telegram bot is actually helping me do various stuffs notifying me about uh, many things and uh, this is my algo trading infrastructure overall how i use stock mark as a back to uh stuff for my trading strategy uh somebody said please show the telegram bot options again so just very quickly i'll open it up and uh, therefore this is my trading setup you can develop your own based upon your own needs as i advocate please be independent one find something that is comfortable to you your trading style the strategy as well as the infrastructure don't fall for anything else okay so whatever suits you in the market do that and my final wording sir will be uh, that just can you just give me a second please hmm so my final wording say will be that uh, always have risk management to the picture always know about the drawdowns of your strategies first i'm not saying uh, back testing whatever you are seeing in the back testing it's 100% true but what i am saying is it has high chances to be true second thing is if back testing showing a bad results kindly don't trade it if it has not worked in the past it's high chances that it will not work in the future as well okay third thing is uh, don't over trade i think many people have Uh, already taught you this that don't do over leveraging some people i have seen earlier were doing like 25000 rupees they are doing a straddle making some money and then advocating that we have achieved 50% of a profit in one day have a realistic expectations that even if you are achieving let's say 15 20 25 30% in a year that's fine if you are receiving more than that that's awesome but have a stop loss in picture don't over trade so that you can sleep well at night okay so i think that's about it